Hello YouTube, today we're doing an installation of the rooftop crossbars. This is a an adjustable crossbar, adjust, adjusts up to 47 inches as you can see here. And this is one of those crossbars from Harbor Freight. So it's a Hallmaster and we're going to be putting it on this uh, Mitsubishi Outlander. Now one thing to note is your vehicle has to have these actual uh, rails here in order to accommodate these uh, crossbars. So you can see here on uh, this particular crossover there are uh, holes here for installing a factory uh, OEM type of uh, crossbar but again these are about uh, 80 70 dollars something like that uh, you can probably get a coupon so uh, again they have a um, 150 um, pound capacity uh, so you're looking at 150 pounds or approximately uh, somewhere around maybe uh, 80 uh, uh, 70 80 uh, uh, probably up to 80 more not more than 80 kilograms if you're in Canada or somewhere outside of us But anyways, uh, let's get started. So what we want to do is open these up that doesn't say any, anywhere on Install tools. So really it doesn't say if you're gonna need a tool with these, but we'll take a look uh, We do want to have is a stepladder or some kind of um, some kind of um, uh, something to step on so you can reach and then install these so let's see what we got here so this is what we get all right so these are the crossbars here attached and there is actually a hex key that comes with these and some covers so there are no really special tools that you need for this there's a key I think also that comes in here there they are so you can actually lock these so I'm gonna take these off zip ties and uh, I'm gonna take one of the bars so essentially the bars extend and what you want to do is locate a spot on the vehicle where to put them so you can do the first one again most vehicles are going to have that have these rails they're going to have two little inner points as you can see here uh, and then inside so that's how you can locate uh, where you want to put those crossbars so what you want to do is um, place the bar on the roof like so and then grab your step ladder. There we go. And then just make sure you extend this so that it fits clamps fit on both sides and it's straight all right so the way you're attaching this is essentially you're just gonna push this and pull it out to extend it and make sure that crossbar hooks into the um, grooved area here so there's a grooved area right there so what you want to do is make sure that it goes in there like so. So you lift it, lift it a little bit so that it pops in there. And um, you can do the same thing on the other side. Now one other thing is if this doesn't move, it could be locked. So just grab the keys that were provided and uh, make sure you unlock these. you'll notice is when it's locked you will see it's uh, red in there it's a little hard to see um, if I can get in there it's hard to see on the camera but anyways this piece here is red so when you actually unlock it see how it 
opens up there. So red locked and unlocked. And that uh, should allow you to get your key in there. And you should be able to tighten or loosen this. So that way you can uh, tighten this up once you have it installed on both sides. So make sure you have it installed on both sides before you actually start tight tightening this. To loosen this grip here, the clamp, again, you stick the hex key in right there. And again, make sure the both sides are unlocked. Well, you do that only on one side, actually, where it has the lock over there. And uh, just counterclockwise or to the left, that should loosen this up. And then again, clockwise or to the right to tighten it up. So, so uh, once you're done with aligning the rail, just make sure you tighten this as best possible. Because remember, what's holding these rails or crossbars on your roof rails is the grip between, of course, this clamp and that clamp over there. So you just want to make sure you tighten this with the key as best possible to make sure that there's no movement at all. So I'm hand tightening until I cannot turn this key anymore. That's how I know. And then you can kind of see that this clamp has really, it's really in there. It's not moving, but I'm gonna tighten it as much as possible here. Once you're done, so you wanna lock these so that no one can unscrew that for you. And then take the plastic grommet here and just stick it in. Rides a little weather seal so you've got nothing going into those rails. And it looks a little better. There's that, and then let's do the other side here. Just grab that. There you go, just wiggle this a little bit, pull it, make sure it's not loose. Should be good to go. Repeat the same procedure for the back rail. Spacing, again, use your vehicle uh, rail guide here. You can see on the other side, if you can't tell, again, try to just make it so that it's uh, about 25, 27 inches apart. Now, one common rookie mistake you'll notice is that uh, the left overhang is shorter than the right one. So what you want to do is loosen up the uh, front one. So that's not actually happening on the back. The back overhangs are good. You can see here that the back ones are fine. Both sides are even, but the front, you can see the left side is longer than the right. So we gotta fix that. So that's another thing you have to pay attention to when you're installing these. Now the best way to check, make sure your overhang is equal. You can use the key here. Just kind of slide that under. And see it kind of comes to the plastic trim piece here. So check the other side to see if that's the same. And obviously it's not. So we want to pull it a little bit. Towards us, now you have to use two hands for this. Pull it so you can equalize this.